Welcome back guys. In this video we will see osmotic purgatives. So let's start. Among osmotic purgatives are various saline purgatives like magnesium sulfate, magnesium hydroxide, magnesium citrate, sodium sulfate and sodium phosphate. Then we have polyethylene glycol and non-absorbable sugars like lactulose, sorbitol and mannitol. Intestinal bacteria degrade these sugars to short chain fatty acids which are osmotically more active. Now let's see their mechanism of action. They retain water in lumen by their osmotic activity. This causes distension of bowel. Magnesium containing preparations also cause release of cholecystokinin on top of this. All of this results in increased peristaltic activity leading to bowel evacuation. Saline and polyethylene glycol produce watery stool within 1 to 3 hours. Whereas lactulose forms soft stool and its effect appear after 1 to 3 days. As water is also lost along with osmotic purgatives, it is important to maintain adequate water intake when using them. So this was mechanism of action. Now let's see uses of osmotic purgatives. They are used in acute and chronic constipations. Saline is used to clear the bowel after food or drug poisoning and after some anti-helminthic drugs like niclosamide to flush out worms. Saline and polyethylene glycol are used to prepare bowel for radiologic or endoscopic examination and for surgery. Lactulose is used in hepatic encephalopathy. Increased ammonia level is a major problem in hepatic encephalopathy. Now we have just seen that intestinal bacteria degrade lactulose into short chain fatty acids. This makes the lumen more acidic which leads to conversion of ammonia into ammonium. As it's a polar compound, it cannot be absorbed. This effect along with purgative action of lactulose results in increased elimination of ammonia. This reduces ammonia level in blood. So these were the uses of osmotic purgatives. Now let's move to adverse events. Cramping is a common side effect with osmotic purgatives. Repeated use of saline purgatives can cause fluid and electrolyte imbalance. Lactulose causes flatus and cramping due to bacterial digestion. Magnesium and phosphate containing preparations should be used cautiously in patients with renal or cardiac disease or pre-existing electrolyte abnormality. Sodium preparations should be avoided in patients with congestive heart failure. That's it friends for osmotic purgatives. If you like this video, please spread it among your friends and colleagues. If you are a visual learner, you will love to watch more videos at our channel. Check them out. And make sure to subscribe to join the world of damn easy medical education. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.